We know about evolution. We know about genetic commonality among all life forms on Earth, plant and animal, and fungal. And so th this, this comes to us from very hard work invested in the biological sciences. You add some of that to the uh, geology and astrophysics of the early solar system, and we go from raw ingredients drawn from the periodic table of elements forged in the hearts of stars that are everywhere in the universe, by the way, the ingredients of life, hydrogen, uh, uh, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, that they're the most common ingredients in the universe. And to, for life to be based on them is it tells you that life is highly opportunistic. And in the early Earth, we went from organic molecules to self-replicating life. We still don't know how that happened, that's a biological frontier with top people. So, what was on the, it. here's my Other question. Things, we don't know what was around. B here's my question for you. With, with, if I was you, Merlin, this is what I'd be asking, right? Let's assume you're Merlin for a moment. Merlin, what was there before nothing? <laughs> we don't know. Right. So, here's it's my okay point. to not know. Th that's the whole point of science. No, but the that's whole what, point of science no, is go why, where you don't know the answer. That's why then, I believe in God, because there has to be a superior thing out there which can answer that question. The human brain cannot answer it because they can't, because nobody knows the answer. Therefore, there has to be, does there not, logically, a superior thing which can answer that question.